Hello students, in this video we'll find the generalized volume of a ball of radius r centered at the origin. We're going to compute what's known as the generalized volume of the ball in n-dimensional Euclidean space of radius r, which will be n integrals over the set of points x1 squared plus xn squared less than or equal to r squared. The first thing we'll do is we're going to pull out this r squared, put things in terms of the unit ball. We have a dx1 through dxn. We'll change the coordinates in the following way. We will let x1 be r, y1, and xn be r, y, n. Then the Jacobian in this transformation will just be r to the n, because there's a linear relationship in each variable. And the y1 through yn will lie in the unit ball. So what we'll have is the following. This integral will simplify to r to the n, so it's going to be equal to r to the n. And that allows us to reduce to studying this thing over here, this expression. y1 squared plus yn squared less than or equal to 1 of dy1 through dyn. We'll call this thing over here. This is going to be the volume of the ball of uh, n with radius 1. And for simplicity, we're going to make a recursion relationship for this. So I'm going to call this expression over here v sub n for the volume of the ball of an uh, n-dimensional space of radius 1. Now, we can note that this condition is true, this condition is satisfied if and only if y1 squared plus y n minus 2 squared is less than or equal to 1 minus y n minus 1 squared minus y n squared, and where y n minus 1 squared plus y n squared is less than or equal to 1. So that's the, exactly the same set of points. And so what we'll do is we'll write this as an iterated integral now. We're going to write this as the first two integrals are going to correspond to the y n minus 1 and y n. So y n minus 1 squared plus y n squared less than or equal to 1. And then we'll have the rest of the integrals that will reside over the what? The rest of the space. So that's going to be inside. And we'll have y1 squared plus, plus y n minus 2 squared less than or equal to 1 minus y n minus 1 squared minus y n squared. Then we'll have a what? Then we'll have a dy1 through dy n minus 2. And then we'll have a dy n minus 1 dy n. Now, this expression over here on the inside is exactly what? On the inside, we see that we're going to have a lower dimensional ball of what radius? Of that radius. So this will be equal to the integral, double integral, over y n minus 1 squared plus y n squared less than or equal to 1. And then what's inside here is going to be this number over here. That's my radius. So of course, I'd have to take the square root of this and square it. So I'm going to have what number over here? I'm going to have this 1 minus y n minus 1 squared minus y n squared to the 1 half raised to the what power? Raised to the n minus 2 power, because now we're in dimension n minus 2. So I have an n minus 2 over 2. And then times the what? Times the volume of what? Of the unit ball in what dimensional space? V n minus 2. d y n minus 1, d y n. And of course, we're calling this expression over here, we're just calling this thing v what? vn minus 2. And so let's see what the relationship is between, uh, of course, I have my r to the n is going to stick around, so I have to put the r to the n over here as well. But I'm just considering this integral over here for my recursion relationship. Now I'm going to put this into polar coordinates. So what we have over here, is this, this implies that vn this integral over here without the r to the n is equal to this integral over here is equal to vn minus 2 times what? Times the integral from 0 to 2 pi for theta, the integral from 0 to 1 for my radial variable rho. I'm going to write this as 1 minus rho squared to the power n minus 2 over 2 times rho d rho d theta. And I'm going to make my integration a little bit easier over here. I'm going to put a 2 row over here and a 1 half outside. Now the d theta over here is going to integrate to what? Well, the 2 pi and the 1 half are just going to turn to a factor of pi. So my theta integral gives me a factor of pi. Then my row integral is a perfect derivative. It's going to be negative 1 minus rho squared. And then I'm going to, this is really n over 2 minus 1. So it's just going to be n over 2, n over 2, over n over 2 from 0 to 1. 
And of course, this is, uh, I need my Vn minus 2, so all this is multiplied by Vn minus 2. Good. And so of course, when I plug in 1, I get nothing. When I plug in 0, I'm going to get a factor of just 1 on top and n over 2 on the bottom. So this implies that Vn, Vn is equal to 2 pi over n times Vn minus 2. Now this recursion relationship is a very famous recursion relationship. This recursion relationship over here is satisfied by Vn being equal to pi to the n over 2 over gamma of n over 2 plus 1. In, in, in uh, former videos, we've seen how this gamma function relates to square roots of pi. So that is the solution to this recursion relationship. And actually, you can check that this, this, this uh, sequence over here satisfies this recursion relationship, and so we have a unique solution to this. So now we have our Vn. So now we can make the conclusion that our volume of the ball of radius n, of radius, uh, or, or radius, excuse me, of radius r in dimension n is equal to r to the n pi to the n over 2 over gamma n over 2 plus 1. Thank you very much.